Welcome to the another video related to the problems based on theorems related to circle. Let's continue with the first one. Consider a circle with center O. A, B and C are points on the circle such that angle A, B, O equals 40 degree and angle A, C, O equals 30 degree. We need to find the value of angle B, O, C. In order to do so, we need to construct a line from point A such that it passes through point O, resulting in the formation of triangle AOB. This triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle as side AO and side BO are radii of the circle. Since base angles of isosceles triangle are equal, therefore we conclude angle BAO is also 40 degree. Similarly, in triangle AOC, sides AO and side OC are radii, thus triangle AOC is also an isosceles triangle. As base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, therefore we conclude angle CAO is equal 30 degree. Now from figure BAC is the sum of angle BAO and angle CAO. Thus angle BAC equals 70 degree. Now angle BOC is the angle formed at the center by the arc BC. Therefore using the theorem, angle formed by the arc at the center is double the angle formed by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle. Hence angle BOC is twice of angle BAC which is equal to 140 degree. Moving on to the next one. Consider a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD such that angle BAD equals 70 degree and angle CAD is equal to 40 degree. We need to find the value of angle BCD. As the quadrilateral ABCD is cyclic, therefore using the theorem that is, opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary. From figure, sum of angle BAD and angle BCD equals 180 degree. As angle BAD is the sum of 70 degree and 40 degree, therefore angle BCD equals 180 degree minus 110 degree, which is equal to 70 degree. Hence the value of angle BCD equals 70 degree. Moving on to the next one. Consider a circle with center O. A, C and B are the points on the circle such that A, B is the diameter and angle B, A, C equals 40 degree. We need to find the value of angle A, B, C. Since diameter divides the circle into two halves known as semicircles, therefore by using the theorem, angle in a semicircle is 90 degree. Therefore angle A, C, B equals 90 degree. Now in triangle A, C, B, by using interior angle sum property, sum of angle C, A, B angle ABC and angle ACB equals 180 degree. On putting the values of angle CAB as 40 degree and angle ACB as 90 degree we get sum of angle ABC and 130 equals 180. On transposing angle ABC equals 180 minus 130 which is equal to 50 degree. Moving on to the next one. Consider a circle with center O. AB and C are the points on the circle. Angle CAO measures 50 degree while angle AOB measures 140 degree. We need to find the value of angle ABC. As reflex of angle AOB equals 360 degree minus 140 degree which is equal to 220 degree. Now angle PCA is the angle found by the arc AB. By using the theorem that is angle subtended by the arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle we get. Angle BCA as half of reflex of angle AOB. On simplifying we get angle BCA as 110 degree. Now in triangle AOB, side AO and side BO are radii of the circle and hence are equal. Therefore triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle. As base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal and are assumed to be X. Therefore in triangle AOB, by using interior angle sum property of triangle, Sum of 140 and 2x equals 180 degree. On transposing we get 2x equals 180 minus 140 degree. Which on further simplification becomes x as half of 40 degree. Which is equal to 20 degree. Therefore both the angles AOB and OBA are equal. Now from figure angle BAC equals 50 degree minus 20 degree which is equal to 30 degree. For the calculation of angle ABC, use interior angle sum property in triangle ABC. On simplifying, we get angle ABC equals 180 minus 140 degree which is equal to 40 degree. Moving on to the next one. Consider a circle with center O such that AD and BC are the diameters of the circle. Also angle CAO measures 65 degree. We need to find the value of angle BAO and angle BCD. In order to find angle BAO, consider arc BAC which forms a semicircle. Since angle in a semicircle is always 90 degree, therefore angle BAC equals 90 degree. 
Now from figure, angle BAC is the sum of angle BAO and angle CAO. On putting the value of angle CAO as 65 degree, angle BAO equals 90 minus 65, which is equal to 25. For the calculation of angle BCD, observe angle BCD and angle BAD are formed by the same segment BD. As angles formed by the same segment are equal, therefore angle BCD equals 25 degree. Moving on to the next one. Consider a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD with center point O, such that measure of angle BDC is 40 degree and angle ABC equals 50 degree. We need to find the measure of angle ADC angle ACB and angle BAC. As angle ADC and angle ABC are found by the same segment AC, therefore by using the theorem, angle found by the same segment are equal, therefore angle ADC equals 50 degree. Similarly, angle BAC and angle BDC are also formed on the same segment BC, therefore again by using the theorem, angle found by the same segment are equal, hence measure of angle BAC equals 50 degree. For angle ACB, Use interior angle sum property of a triangle in triangle ABC. That is, sum of 50 degree angle ACB and 40 equals 180 degree, which on further simplification becomes angle ACB equals 180 minus 90, which is equal to 90 degree. Here to find angle ACB, you can also use the theorem related to the cyclic quadrilateral. That is, opposite angles of cyclic quadrilateral are supplementary, which on simplification will give you the same result. Moving on to the next problem. Consider a circle with center O and CD be the diameter. A code AB is parallel to the diameter CD such that angle ADC equals 25 degree. We need to find the measure of angle ACB. As interior alternate angles are equal if lines are parallel, therefore angle BAD equals angle ADC that is 25 degree. Join point A to the center point O resulting in the formation of an isosceles triangle AOD. As base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, Therefore, angle DAO is equal to angle ADO. Thus, angle DAO equals 25 degree. Now, join center point O to point B, resulting in another isosceles triangle AOB. As from figure, angle BAO is the sum of angle DAO and angle BAD. Therefore, angle BAO equals 50 degree. Since base angles of an isosceles triangle are equal, therefore, angle ABO also measures 50 degree. In triangle AOB, by using interior angle sum property, we get angle AOB as 180 degree minus 100 degree, which is equal to 80 degree. Now angle AEB is formed by the arc AB. Therefore, by using the theorem, angle subtended by the arc at the center is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle. Therefore, angle AEB is half of angle AOB that is half of 80 degree, which is equal to 40 degree. Moving on to the next one. Consider a cyclic quadrilateral ABCD. Side CD is extended to point E such that angle ADE equals 70 degree. It is also given that angle OBA measures 45 degree. We need to find the value of angle BAC. In order to do so, join point C and point A to center point O. As angle BAC is the sum of angle BAO and angle CAO, as triangle AOB is an isosceles triangle, therefore base angles are equal. Hence angle BAO measures 45 degree. Also the angle ABC equals angle ADE, as exterior angle of a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to the measure of interior opposite angle. From figure, angle AOC equals 140 degree as angle subtended by the arc is double the angle subtended by the same arc on the remaining part of the circle. Now in isosceles triangle AOC, base angles angle OAC and angle OCA are equal and assumed to be X. Therefore by using interior angle sum property of triangle, the value of X is simplified as 2X equals 180 degree minus 140 degree which becomes 2X equals 40 degree which on further simplification gives x as 20 degree. Putting the value of angle BAO and CAO in equation number 1, we get angle BAC as 65 degree. Moving on to the next one. Consider a circle with center O and AB be the diameter. A line segment AQ passes through point P on the circle. Another segment RQ passes through point B on the circle such that angle PQR equals 25 degree and angle BAP equals 35 degree. We need to find the measure of angle PBR, BRQ and angle BPR. 
फ्रॉम फिगर एंगल पी ए बी इक्वल्स एंगल पी आर बी एज एंगल्स फॉर्म ऑन दी सेम सेगमेंट आर इक्वल ऑल्सो एंगल ए पी बी इज नाइन्टी डिग्री एज एंगल इन अमी सर्कल इज नाइन्टी डिग्री सम ऑफ एंगल ए पी बी एंड एंगल पी बी क्यू इक्वल्स वन एटी डिग्री बिकॉज सम ऑफ एडजस्टेंट एंगल्स ऑन अ स्ट्रेट लाइन फॉर्म लीनियर पेयर देयर फॉर एंगल बी पी क्यू इक्वल्स वन एटी माइनस नाइन्टी विच ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन गिवस नाइन्टी डिग्री नाउ इन ट्रैंगल पी बी क्यू एंगल पी बी आर इक्वल्स सम ऑफ एंगल बी पी क्यू एंड एंगल बी क्यू पी एज एक्सटीरियर एंगल ऑफ ए ट्रैंगल इज इक्वल टू द सम ऑफ इंटीरियर अपोजिट एंगल्स ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी गेट एंगल पी बी आर इक्वल्स वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन डिग्री टू फाइंड एंगल बी पी आर यूज इंटीरियर एंगल सम प्रॉपर्टी इन ट्रैंगल बी पी आर ऑन सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी गेट एंगल पी पी आर इक्वल्स वन एटी डिग्री माइनस वन फिफ्टी डिग्री विच इज इक्वल टू थर्टी डिग्री so by solving such problems in detail we get the idea that if direct application of the theorems related to the circle and cyclic quadrilateral fails then one must try to observe the figure in terms of isosceles triangle as in a circle triangle formed using the center point will always has a tendency to form an isosceles triangle so this was it for the video see you in the next one till then keep practicing and thank you for watching